Hello everyone and welcome back to another part of Let's Play Eadore, Masters of the Goku World on Overlord Difficulty. It's been more than a week since I recorded it, uh, the last part and um, I'm sorry that I can't record uh, more often now but uh, at least until Christmas I am uh, pretty busy so I can't say uh, how much time I'll be able to save for games so there will be probably a few parts but I really can't promise anything but uh, today I managed to save a few hours so let's um, get a bit further on uh, Daryl's home world I promise that I'll try to do the transition uh, to range commander in uh, on this chart at least I'll try it so let's see how far we'll be able to get uh, I was thinking if I should uh, uh, get uh, another level up uh, uh, through fighting or just explore and I think that I will just stay in the capital and explore and in case I get a command I will grab the healer we already have available and leave the capital with full army what I don't want to do is just go uh, to fight in this province this is most likely the province I'm gonna attack next go there, uh, get the level up with command, then move back to get the healer and then uh, move uh, away from the capital again, waste turns uh, moving uh, uh, away from the capital and back to the capital so I would like to get the level up here and hopefully it will be that command so I will be able to grab a healer and then go out and stay outside uh, for a bit longer so uh, I have basically uh, my moves for this part planned or at least I hope uh, uh, my plan will work what I will do is I will explore uh, the capital until I get uh, the level up then depending on what I'm gonna get uh, I'll decide if I'll uh, go out and attack these provinces or maybe uh, I have some undead here and inquisitors so maybe I'll stay uh, but we'll see about that and um, uh, also I'll have to grab range tactics as soon as possible so that's one thing I can't predict and I'll have to adjust the tactics to that a little so let's start and see what's gonna happen um, hmm, I think I can end the turn right now. What's this? Uh, we have adventurers. Okay, that's not bad. We found it with the main hero, so they should give me some of their loot. Or maybe I'm thinking about attacking them. It will be a free fight, but uh, with army like that, uh, like we have, attacking an elf is a bad idea that means guaranteed the losses and I won't be able to do anything about that mm, I think I'll just talk to them and try to get something from them without fighting yeah half the loot okay I expected that they will give me something and it's actually decent 35 gems is quite a lot 127 gold is not bad enchanted blade well, that's kind of crap, but uh, still at least something. Okay, do I want to sell the blade or not? I'll probably keep it for now in case I need to finish uh, a unit, you know, with one or two hit points that uh, the hero has at least some offensive stats. Okay, and uh, I think one turn uh, and we'll get that uh, level up. I want to build anything. I think I want to get. Um, yeah, that's uh, another thing I want uh, in this part. I would like to get exploration bot. So let's grab uh, crystal force. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it, but I will try. If we can get that command, it would help a lot and uh, make it much easier to get uh, the gold required. So let's see. This turn, we'll decide. What are we gonna do? Oh, we've managed to find something. Okay. Well, I think I'll just continue in case this uh, is not the level up yet. Uh, but it is, and it's the command. Perfect. This is awesome. 
Okay, so we have the command, but we don't have range tactics. That kind of sucks. I would take it um, this early just to you know just to hook it up to make sure that I will have it available. Uh, okay, so I have to go with something else, and I think discipline is the best option now just to get it to level 3 no matter what kind of army you're gonna go with uh, discipline is always good so let's uh, keep working on that and yeah that means we don't have to explore the province anymore and also that I can take that healer okay and now the question is, can army like this kill Inquisitors? When I give it uh, 3 webs. It's very tempting and I think I will try, that would be a huge boost to everything if I could kill Inquisitors this early. We have everything we need for that, I'm just a bit afraid if uh, the damage will be high enough because my barbarians are now still uh, really, really weak. Hmm, well. Uh, let's try it. I'll need uh, webs anyway, so I may as well build it now. And one, two, three. Grab those webs. I'm quite sure that if uh, it will be possible, we will need three webs for it. It's uh, really risky, but I like attacking Inquisitors this early uh, because uh, most of the time it's doable and uh, it's so uh, good boost uh, this early killing tier three unit. Okay, so let's try it. I have enough gems uh, to cast everything we need. Army is as ready as it can be. Just double checking everything. Okay, uh, let's try it. I hope this is gonna work. As I said, most of the time it works, but it can happen that uh, because of the terrain or you know something that Inquisitor gets to you and you don't have enough damage to kill it, and then you are uh, in trouble. Uh, he can easily kill most of my army. But yeah, let's do it. I think it's worth it. We are also fighting in the hills, so it may slow him down a bit and give me time to move. Um, let's have a look. Oh, this is bad. I was hoping that, I'm, that I'll have a time, thanks to those hills, to prepare my line and surround him while he will be slowly moving towards me. But uh, because of these uh, tiles uh, with uh, impossible obstacles, I won't be able to move around him easily. Uh, so what can I do? I would like to get him on this tile, probably. And have three barbarians like here, maybe. Now the question is, what's he gonna do? I hope that he's gonna move up. If he's gonna run this way and end up like here, then it will be pretty bad. So what can I do? I can try probably something like this. This might work for now. See what he's gonna do, and then I'll adjust the line. Okay, he moves first, that's good, so most likely gonna move up. Come on, move up. No! Oh, this is bad, this is bad. Don't go that way. What if I do something like this? Uh, are you gonna move? up because all my units are going there. I need to get him to this part of the map. Okay, now he's moving where I need him. I think I'll leave the bar this barbarian where he is just to make sure that he's gonna move 
one tile to the north. Uh, if I move everything down, I'm afraid that he might uh, start moving south again. And okay, I think this looks good. Yeah, that's where I need him. Now, I think I can do this. Definitely have to turn around. And what about you? I think I'll move the barbarian down and move the healer to him. Uh, the plan is let the executioner come on this tile and uh, allow him to use his round attack to hit all these barbarians so they will enrage. He shouldn't be able to kill them. Then I will web him and try to kill him with the. Uh, uh, the extra damage I'll get from the rage and just uh, keep this pikeman busy down here so hopefully that will work okay the damage isn't that bad down here so that should work hopefully he's not gonna move uh, to the healer and now the second part of the plan this is gonna hurt but should work a lot of damage but because of that awesome ability the barbarians have they will now hit like a truck so web for you and I think both these guys can actually move and try to get behind him the damage is not that bad Okay, heal this guy. He's the only one who is now gonna be taking damage. And keep going. Okay, move behind him. And do your best. That's going down quite fast. Maybe next turn I'll even be able to kill him. Okay. Keep healing this guy. The pikeman is uh, slowly running out of stamina, so that uh, should be fine. Uh, some heals, but uh, that's not a problem. Okay, this should be. Oh, come on. Well, this is gonna be the last hit then. And I have three heals left, so let's uh, heal this guy now. Okay, use all heals, and I'll just wait for the pikeman to deplete all his stamina. His counter attack is uh, stronger than his attack, so I don't want to attack him uh, as long as he has uh, some stamina left. And uh, I also don't want to waste uh, gems on uh, the last web I have available. Can do it without it. I don't have that many gems, so if I can save some, it's probably a good idea. Okay, move and try to do some damage. Maybe you can move around here and attack that healer from behind in like two turns. Okay, you don't have any stamina, so move out of the way. And these two guys should be able to finish this. Perfect. He'll move closer. And uh, what is the healer gonna do? Can't do much. Okay. And that's a kill. Perfect. So this worked. And um, yeah, uh, all my barbarians are hurt a lot, so I'll probably have to, uh, I think, explore now, like turn or two. To allow them to heal up, but this was definitely worth it. Let's see the reward. Uh, a bit of money here and the level ups. Uh, health for you, health for agility. No, thank you. More hit points and will for victory order. Oh, that's tempting. Hmm. Should I take it or not? I already have one. I 
and I'm not sure, yeah, I can't see if it's for the same barbarian who already has it or if it's for someone else. That's pretty annoying, this bug that uh, doesn't allow you to see medals. Um, I think I will take it. Where it will be Berserker, hit points here. And we don't have a medal for a healer. Oh, that's bad. And accurate crossbow. Hmm. That's actually a decent item. I have to think if I want to keep it or sell it because it's uh, a lot of gold you can get from uh, from it. But um, also later I will use ranged weapon uh, with the final build of the army or the, with the hero. And this is not a bad weapon to start with, though it will be actually quite a while before I get to that. So let's actually sell this 50 gold this early is uh, quite a lot. Okay, now, what else do we have? Oh, we have a crystal available. Right, so let's go there and uh, get a quest that will give us uh, some time to heal. And I think we also have, yeah, here we have undead. So maybe I will attack them before, before I leave the capital. That should be a fight that would allow me to heal a bit. And hopefully get a medal for a healer. Okay, that sounds like a plan. Anything we want to build? I don't think so. I just want to save money for that uh, for the exploration bot. Okay, and turn. And what are we gonna get? Nine elf droids. Well, that will be a hard one. Okay, definitely bad luck. We will get them eventually because there is a lot of elven provinces everywhere. Um, since we are attacking, you know, uh, Daryl's uh, homeworld, and he's an uh, he's an elf king. But uh, it will take quite a while before we will be able to attack elves. So, yeah, no money from uh, from quests for us. Okay. Oh, never mind. How does it look like with barbarians? Uh, much better. So, yeah, let's actually attack uh, the undead. And... Um, Try to use the fight to heal everyone up. We need extravaganza. I think it's too early for it. Yeah. What's the turn actually, and how does it look like with the up? Minus 8, plus 9 is decent. Turn 9. So, killed executioners on turn like 7? That's not bad. That went pretty well. And I also wanted to check uh, this. Of course, it was for the same guy. Oh, come on. Yeah, that uh, is pretty annoying that you can't see uh, if the unit already has medals or not when you're avoiding it. Hmm, now we have one unit that's um, so much stronger than everyone else. Well, I'll try to take advantage of that. Okay. Uh, enough talking, let's uh, attack the undead. How does it look like? <laughs> Should probably create some proper defensive line now. Something like this, maybe. That looks decent enough. And I kinda hope they will gonna be down here. If they are up here, they'll probably come as a pack, and that would be quite annoying. Well, let's see. Oh, good, they are down here. So one, two. Yeah, skeletons will come first, and then I will use webs to handle zombies. That looks good. Okay, heal up. Uh, 
Come on, end the turn. Uh, one heal for you, and now just wait with those heals and use it only on the guys who will be taking damage now. Okay. That was interesting choice there, attacking the strongest guy. Maybe... Can I kill the skeleton like this? I can. So what about killing both of them like this? That was good. Okay. One heal for you and the last heal will be for this guy. And now let's just wait, move back a bit. Prepare for the zombies. Uh, they are doing some pretty interesting things. Okay, I don't need that healer anymore, so I'll just uh, move him out of the way. You can move closer, you can move closer as well. Go. Oh, come on, what are you doing there? Okay, I think I'll attack the next turn and then. Um, you can move closer, you have to move away. And now it's time for the first web. One, two, three. Next, actually, you can throw your axe, try to do at least something. Hmm. Well, let's get a kill and I will use that web immediately. Oh, 17 damage. That was quite decent. Okay, so that worked quite well. And I think that the all barbarian should be healed almost to full. Maybe this guy will be hurt a bit, but the rest should be fine. So that worked as intended. Anything interesting we get from this? So level up. Uh, Berserker for you, and that's all. And the leatherhead, well, plus 3 hit points, why not? And 63 gold isn't bad. Good. How does it look like? 384. Actually, quite close to what we need for for the exploration bot. Isn't there something we could do? And again, we didn't get a medal for the healer. That's uh, quite annoying. Okay, nothing here. I'd want to fight right now, so. Let's get rid of uh, one web and go after these brigands. Uh, I'm taking the one fatigue because I'll use it on the bowman that's here to weaken him. And I hope that after that I won't have to care about him anymore. Okay, go. Actually. Mm. Let's plunder the province once. Should give us a decent amount of gold, and uh, we will be much closer to the exploration bot. Then I will plunder this province once, and that should give me more than enough to hire the second hero. Okay, let's do it. 47, I was hoping for more. 47 is actually quite bad. Oh, well, wait for new orders. I'm not gonna do that again. I was hoping that it's gonna give me like, you know, 70 plus and I'll be able to hire the hero on this turn. Oh, never mind. Okay, move. 
at least that uh, allowed me to heal all my units uh, back to full health. Okay, go go. Don't want to build anything until I have the second hero. Nothing unexpected here. So, oh, where are they? The healer is standing in the forest. That's uh, good. So let's start this. And first will be fatigue for the bowman. And let's see what they're gonna do. Okay, move closer and kill the thief, heal up, and I can use the. Ah, oh, come on, not on my barbarian. I can use the web right now on the brigand. Good. That hurt. Well, it should be fine. Can we kill him? We can. Perfect. And I think that uh, if the bowman just stays where he is, I'll just wait, take the damage, heal it, and I hope that it will finally give me a medal. For the healer, of course. Two more heals. Okay, I think it's time to move back now. And who's gonna get a kill? Well, these guys don't have medals, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Please give me that medal. Uh, it's really important to get at least one. So, come on. We have a level up. Oh! Okay, and here's the wrench tactics. Um. I'm gonna go with uh, range units. I don't think offensive tactics at all. So this is not important. Discipline level three is really tempting for that extra resistance, but uh, I guess that range tactics is so much more important. Um, health sucks. Basically, now I'm deciding if I'm really gonna do the transition or not. And uh, it's still quite early to uh, you know, make the decision and uh, be sure that it's really going to work well. But yeah, whatever. Let's try it. What can possibly go wrong? Okay, there we go. Level ups for barbarians. Attack for you. Metal for resilience. No, thank you. Uh, ranged attack. Berserker. You'll get the hit points. And please give me the metal. No, of course not. Oh, come on. Come on. This is bad. 430. Okay, let's plunder the province and hired hero. And I think that will be all for this part. Because uh, um, he managed to accomplish all the goals for this part worked quite well, I have to say, except uh, those medals for a healer. Oh, 67. That's decent. It kind of compensates for the crappy loot from the capital we got before. Uh, wondering once uh, should be enough. Okay. Let's hire. Exploration bot. Come on, give me exp exp uh, give me exploring. Nope. Looting. Oh well, I'll probably want too much to get the the scouting right from the start. Okay, get rid of his units. Come on. 
and you can start exploring in the capital. Good. Your next target will be uh, not yours. Your next target will be these brigands, and I think that I will just finish the first ring. And um, now we just need to get. Um, as many command level ups as possible. Get the wrench tactics to level three and save uh, actually quite a lot of gold because the transition is really expensive, and that might be the biggest problem you'll have uh, on this shard because I'll need uh, uh, crossbow school, and then I will need to hire those crossbows and with upkeep of 12 oh that will be interesting I'll have to think about this how I'll be able to handle it uh, uh, with my upkeep And it can easily happen that uh, you're basically ready for the transition, just the economy uh, won't allow me to do it. But yeah, you'll see, we can have one or two lucky events and everything will change, or also we can have a few negative events and we might not be able to do the transition at all. But you'll see about that uh, in future parts. Hope you'll join me for the next part again, though I can't promise when I'm gonna be able to record it. But uh, until then, have a good time and bye bye.